Now let us see what are the factors affecting in calculating the depreciation, value of the depreciation. Now let us see basic factor determining the uh, depreciation. One, cost of the fixed asset. F first of all, the original cost, original cost of the asset. Then estimated scrap value at end of the life of the asset. This should be subtracted from the uh, original cost. Original cost, for example, um, uh, one lakh fifty thousand. One lakh fifty thousand means the scrap value at the end of the uh, lifetime period is uh, twenty five thousand. Means uh, the one lakh fifty thousand minus twenty five thousand will be taken for the calculation. Now let us see. Uh, estimate the scrap value at the end of the life of the assets and the useful life of the assets. Useful means the working period, working period of the assets. What are the methods of calculation? Methods of calculation, straight line method. We are using here straight line method and diminishing value method. Straight line method or original cost method we can say. Diminishing balance methods or reducing balance method. In addition to that, sinking fund method is there, annuity method is there, like that uh, 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 many methods are there. Insurance method is also there, but we are not uh, uh, following that. Now we are following only this two. Now let us see the next area, the rate of depreciation. How will you calculate the rate of depreciation rate? Rate means percentage. Rate of depreciation will be calculated. Here, 100 by working life of the asset. Suppose there is a working life of 100 is the uh, percentage. And uh, the working life of the asset, suppose 5 years means, uh, now the rate of depreciation is 20 percentage. We can call it as a 20 percentage. The 100 is the rate. Rate means percentage. Call for calculation of the uh, percentage, we use 100. 100, 100 by working life of the asset suppose the working life of the asset is five years mean five years means we can call, uh, divide 100 divided by five is equal to 20 that means 20 percentage next calculation is the depreciation is equal to how will you calculate the depreciation the cost of assets minus scrap value I, I already had told you cost of assets is one lakh fifty thousand mean end of the working life period the scrap value will be a 25,000 means or 20,000 suppose 20,000 means the cost of asset minus scrap value is 1,30,000 that 1,30,000 divided by the working life as well, for example 5 years will be uh, used for dividing and uh, we can get the depreciation value this is another thing. After calculation, what will be the thing? Journal entries. We have to pa pass the journal entries and we have to post them in the lecture account. In later classes, we will see uh, journal entries. What will be journal entry? When the asset increases in value, it will be in debit side. When the asset decreases in the value, it will be in the credit side. Now we are writing here depreciation account. Depreciation account. Debit debit. To fixed assets account fixed asset account why we are writing this fixed asset in credit side means when the asset increases value it will be debited when the asset decreases its value it will be credited and why we are writing depreciation on the debit side means all the expenses and loss this is a invisible loss of an asset all the expenses and loss will be debited according to nominal account okay now this is a general entry then what will be the transfer entry? We have calculated the depreciation. Now what we are going to do next? We are going to transfer it to the uh, profit and loss account. Next one is called the transfer entry. The transfer entry will be like this. Transfer entry will be like this. Profit profit and loss account is debited to depreciation account. Profit and loss account will be debited and the depreciation account will be credited. This is a transfer entry. Why we are writing profit and loss account debit side? All the expenses and losses will be written on the debit side of the profit and loss account. In the next class when we are preparing the final accounts, we can see what are the items will be in the debit side of the profit and loss account and what are the items will be there in the credit side of the profit and account. Finally, we will see the balance sheet. Okay. We will see in the next class the calculation, how to calculate the um, depreciation on a machine, not only one machine, 
and to second machine, the purchase of first machine, second machine, third machine and sale of the machines in between the uh, uh, working lifetime. All these things we'll do in the calculation in the practical class next, uh, next class. Okay, we'll see.